What a one peeps, it's a new day, it's a new week and we're on week four of my weight loss journey so you need to come with me peeps <laughs> this week I'm prepping as usual, it's Sunday so I'm prepping, so I'm going to make a nice ch vegan chilli um, a quinoa salad and I'm going to make some veggie chunks Jamaican style Oh, by the way, peeps, if you got this far, why aren't you subscribed? Come on, subscribe. I'm not going to tell you again. Make sure you subscribe and hit the alarm bell so you can keep up with me and see how well I do or how badly. Because <laughs> the way things are going, how badly I do with my weight loss plan. And I also chuck in other videos as well. I do food prep and I chuck in, if I've gone anywhere, then I'll chuck that in as well. But yeah, so please subscribe and click that alarm bell and keep up with me. Check you later, peeps. What's going on, peeps? So my first dish I'm going to make is um, a nice vegan um, chili, and these are my base ingredients. So that's onion, that's fresh thyme, that's celery, chili peppers, garlic, that's spring onion, and I'm going to put some peppers in there. And my other ingredients include: I've got kidney beans, I've got chopped tomato. Um, now all these ingredients, top tip, if you haven't got them, I've just thrown them in because I want to add all my vegetables in, I want to get all my veggies in. Top tip, if you're like me and you only food prep once a week and you don't cook any other time of the week, a lot of the ingredients you buy go to waste, so I tend to buy the frozen versions and they're just as fresh once you thaw them out. So I've got here, these were frozen mushrooms, that is frozen kale, that is frozen butternut squash, that is frozen um, corn because it gets to the stage in the month we don't keep going at the road buying stuff and I don't want to be spending any more money in the month because it's coming up to the end of the month next week is Easter so and what I'm going to do it with is some sweet potatoes so I'm going to slice those in halves and roast, roast those in the oven and oh yeah I've also forgot I've got tomato paste and I'm also going to put just a squeeze of agave nectar in there just to balance out the acidity of the actual tomato. So yeah, so let's get cooking. I forgot to show you what seasons I'm going to put in there. So just do that quickly. That's black pepper. That's salt. All-purpose seasoning. Mixed herbs. Cumin. I was going to do garlic powder, but um, I don't need the garlic powder because I've already chopped up some garlic. And that's it, peeps. And it's usually one teaspoon of each, but I always eyeball. So if you're not sure, just use one teaspoon of each and salt and pepper to taste. I'll be back, peeps. peeps I'm back and this is my final chili so it's done it's sorted I've turned it off but obviously I've got those electric cookers here so it takes a while for it to cool down but I've done such a big batch because I want to put it in wraps as well with my quinoa salad that I'm going to show you I'm going to make as well um yeah things to note don't forget your sweetener you can use maple syrup I've used agave nectar or some people use honey but obviously I don't have honey so that's that and what I'm doing with it is, is um, I'm cooking these sweet potato halves. So all you can do, put them in the oven. All I put on them is salt, pepper, 
mixed herbs, rubbed a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on them, bung in the oven for 45 minutes, 180, bosh, 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 done. Anyway, I'm on to my next recipe, so I'll speak soon, peeps. What I want, peeps? My second dish is, it's going to be veggie chunks curry and I'm going to do it Jamaican style so it looks like chicken by the time you finish and in actual fact I'm, the seasoning I'm using is what I would normally use apart from maybe one which is the tamari apart from that which I would normally use if I was actually going to do a curry goat so anyway that's the veggie chunks that's what they call it in Jamaica but here they call it natural sora protein chunks and I actually got this from Holland and Barrett I didn't even know they sold it I actually made this in Jamaica and it was fantastic and um, this is what it looks like dehydrated and what you've got to do is actually soak it in water and I, I put lemon in it as well because it has a distinctive taste that I don't like so I boil it out, I soak it overnight and then I boil it out a couple of times and then that distinctive taste and smell goes Always boil it out in either lemon or vinegar. I always use lemon though. So you and you end up with this, and it swells to twice its size. So this packet is 375 grams. I've only used half, but look, this is half in the packet. That's half in the packet. Looks like nothing, and that's half in a great big bowl. So yeah, and this takes on the flavour of whatever you season it with. So let's get on to our seasonings. <laughs> So, I've got white onion, I've got garlic, I've got spring onion, I've got fresh thyme, I've got chilli peppers, I haven't got any scotch bollet unfortunately. But I'm going to do an actual Jamaican haul when I go down to go and get some stuff because I really fancy a Jamaica week with some Jamaican food for, for a change. Vegan stuff. And then I've got some peppers. So that'll be the base. I'd brown those down normally, but I'm going to use water and just sauté them and make sure they're actually cooked well though. So it'll actually go with the actual veggie chunks. And here is the dry seasoning. So that's black pepper, all purpose. I'm going to use a little bit of tamari because that really makes it, gives it a king because it's veggie chunks. If it was curry goat, I wouldn't use it, but it's veggie chunks, so I'm adding to it. So that's um, salt mixed herbs and then you got you've got to have your curry in ya so this is the one that I brought back from Jamaica and it's running out I bought two packets so this is the is this the first or the second packet I oh, know this is the first packet so I bought two packets back with me but I'm gonna miss it when it goes <laughs> I'm gonna have to find one right just like I'm hoping I can find one when I go and do my West Indian shop and you'll see that haul when I get it all right so yeah so those are all the ingredients and I'm gonna actually have it with would you believe brown basmati rice? I've never tried it before. And this is what it is. It's already cooked because I just put it in a rice cooker. And it looks like this in the packet. It looks a lot darker in the packet, actually. So that's what it looks like in the packet. And that's it cooked. And this rice cooker, again, cooked it perfect. It's fant fantastic. So I'm going to have that with rice. So, yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to do it in picture form or show you as I'm going, but... Because it's a, as, like I keep saying, it's a long process to do these food preps. What I might do is just do picture form and just take you, take you with me at each step. I think that'd be easier. So come with me, peeps. What's up, go on, peeps? I'm back. I'm on my last and final dish for the day. It seems like I took a long time about it, but it wasn't really because I'm kind of multitasking. But this is the last dish, and, and please forgive my curried veggie chunks bubbling away in the background there. That's what I mean by multitasking. So, anyway, I've got quinoa here that I've already cooked and I've left to cool because it's going to be a salad. 
I've got sweet corn, I've got avocado, I've got coriander, well it's coriander leaf, plum tomatoes that I'm going to chop, an onion. And to, to actually make a nice marinade to go with it, I'm going to add extra virgin olive oil, mixed herbs, that's salt, that's cumin, and that's black pepper. And that's all there is to it. You can add or take away whatever you want. Some people like to add basil, some people like to add beans. I had beans in my one last time, but I've got a chilli bean already, so I didn't want to add any more beans to it. I just wanted like a salad to go on the side of either this or in one of my mini wraps that I got from Aldi. God bled out. See, this was in the freezer. I actually took it out and it's, it's defrosted now. But yeah, completely vegan. Fantastic. So yeah, so you'll see the finished product when I come back. Or you'll see the whole lot, because this is just adding things in and just chopping them up and putting them in there and that's it. So, you'll probably see the finished product of all my food prep when I get back, alright? Speak to you soon, peeps. What's up, peeps? I'm back and this is the final product. Um, I've turned it off now, but trust me, there's gravy down there. Just a few things to note. If you add per all-purpose seasoning and tamari, they're both quite salty, so don't add any salt at all to this dish until you tasted it towards the end. And if it needs salt, add it. But I found I didn't need any salt whatsoever because it's got the tamari in it and it's got all purpose seasoning in it. So this is what it looks like. You're going to see it all dished up when I finished, okay? I'll be back, peeps. What up, one, peeps? I'm finally there, and this is my final meals for the week. So. As I suspected, I would have had some left. That's the chilli there. That's what's the last of the chilli. And I can put it in that wrap with some of my salad and maybe some green, a green salad like lettuce leaves. So I'll do that in a the week. There's the chilli with the sweet potato halves. That is um, curried veggie chunks with brown basmati rice. And as you can see, as I said previously, there's my salad all mixed up, ready to go. It's actually really nice. I can't stop eating it. It's terrible. I'm terrible like that. When I find something that's really nice, and incidentally, that I can't stop. Actually, all of it is scrummy food. So, I hope you enjoyed that, peeps. And if you did, please subscribe and share my videos. And in the near future, I'm trying to do a Jamaican food prep with rice and peas. Um... Maybe some ok some ackee and ackee with some okra if I can get it. Some kololo and cabbage. And maybe if I can get some planting, some planting. And I might even get some yam as well. So I'll just do some yam on the side. And yeah. And you'll be surprised how healthy it can be as well. I know Jamaicans use a lot of oil, but you don't have to use oil. You don't have to. Do you know what I mean? So I'll show, I'm going to show a simple way of doing it. All you do is sauté instead of, um, and instead of, um, sauté instead of frying. And like, for example, the plantain, bake it instead of frying it. It's just that when I was in Jamaica, I couldn't bake anything. I, so I had to fry. So yeah, so that's another story. But anyway, go and check out the review for Somerset Village as well, because I weren't happy. Anyway, that's enough of that. Check you later, peeps, and I hope you enjoyed that. Speak to you soon. Bye. I know everybody I go like we, I go like, still we ivory. Got me no love likes. Mm, in a dancer style. I know everybody I go like.